A Murder is Announced is a mystery novel written by Agatha Christie, a prominent author during the golden age of detective fiction. Published in 1950, Christie, also known as the Queen of Crime, gained fame for her iconic characters Miss Marple and Hercule Poirot. Apart from her novels, she wrote short story collections and even penned the world's longest-running play, The Mousetrap, 1952. Christie's works have been adapted into numerous films and television shows. In A Murder is Announced, the fourth novel featuring amateur detective Miss Marple, Christie takes us to post-World War II England. The story unfolds in the fictional village of Chipping Cleghorn, where a notice in the local Chipping Cleghorn Gazette unexpectedly announces an upcoming murder. The event is scheduled for 6.30 p.m. at a place called Little Paddocks, owned by Letitia Blacklock. However, Letitia claims to know nothing about the announcement. Residing with Letitia are her childhood friend Dora Bunner, distant cousins Patrick and Julia Simmons, and a young widow named Philippa Haynes, who supports her son independently after losing her husband in the war. On the evening of the announced murder, a group of curious neighbors gathers at Little Paddocks. Among them are Miss Hincliffe, Miss Murgatroyd, Colonel Easterbrook, Mrs. Easterbrook, Mrs. Swenham and her son Edmund, and Mrs. Harmon, the vicar's wife. The guests engage in mundane conversations, discussing trivial matters like the decor of the drawing room and Letitia's choice to use central heating instead of the fireplace. At precisely 6.30 p.m., the lights in the drawing room suddenly go out, and a masked man appears. He startles the guests with a flashlight, ordering them to raise their hands, and three shots are fired. When the lights come back on, Letitia Blacklock's ear is bleeding, and the intruder lies dead on the floor, with a gun next to him. Dora identifies the deceased as Rudy Schertz, a Swiss receptionist from the Royal Spa Hotel. Inspector Craddock takes charge of the police investigation into this puzzling incident. During his investigation, Inspector Craddock uncovers that Rudy Schertz, the deceased intruder, had a history of petty theft but no prior involvement in violent crimes. Seeking more information, Craddock meets Miss Marple, an elderly guest at the Royal Spa Hotel. Miss Marple suggests that Schertz's girlfriend, Myrna Harris, may be concealing something important. When questioned by Craddock, Myrna discloses that Schertz was hired by an unknown person to stage a robbery at a party. Craddock proceeds to Little Paddocks, where he interviews Miss Blacklock, the owner of the house. He notices that she always wears a conspicuous choker necklace adorned with large, presumably fake pearls, which contrasts oddly with her otherwise rustic attire. Miss Blacklock informs Craddock that she is set to inherit a substantial fortune from her former employer, Randall Godler. According to the arrangement, if Randall's wife, Belle Godler, passes away, the inheritance will go to Miss Blacklock. However, if Miss Blacklock dies before Belle, the fortune will be transferred to Pip and Emma Stamfordis, the twin children of Randall's estranged sister, Sonia. Craddock becomes concerned that Pip and Emma, wherever they may be, could be behind the murder attempt. It is possible that they desire Miss Blacklock's demise to claim the inheritance for themselves. To gain further insights, Craddock speaks with Belle, who reveals that Letitia Blacklock gave up her job to care for her sister, Charlotte, when their father passed away. Charlotte had a disfiguring medical condition, and Letitia took her to Switzerland for treatment. Unfortunately, Charlotte ultimately succumbed to her condition, prompting Letitia to return to England. Meanwhile, Miss Marple engages in a conversation with Dora, during which Dora briefly mentions a swapping of two lamps at Little Paddocks. However, their discussion is interrupted by Miss Blacklock. Shortly after, Miss Blacklock organizes a birthday celebration for Dora. Following the festivities, Dora experiences a severe headache and takes some aspirin from Miss Blacklock. Tragically, Dora passes away during the night due to poisoning. As the investigation continues, Craddock discovers a collection of old letters written by Letitia to Charlotte. Recognizing their potential significance, he hands them over to Miss Marple, who is currently staying at the vicarage. While reading one of the letters by lamplight, a peculiar incident occurs at the vicarage. The resident cat chews on the lamp cord, causing it to short out when water accidentally spills on it. This unexpected event leads Miss Marple to a significant breakthrough in the case, but she keeps her revelation secret until the conclusion of the novel. In the midst of unfolding events, Miss Blacklock receives a letter from someone claiming to be Julia Simmons, announcing her imminent arrival at Little Paddocks. 
Suspecting that the current resident posing as Julia is an imposter, Miss Blacklock confronts her. The woman confesses that she is, in fact, Emma Stamfordis, Patrick's girlfriend, who has been masquerading as Julia. The real Julia has been away pursuing an acting career. Emma discloses that she last saw her twin brother, Pip, when they were only three years old. During a conversation with Miss Hinchcliffe regarding the night of the holdup, Miss Murgatroyd, the only guest unaffected by Schertz's flashlight, recalls that one woman was absent from the drawing room when the intruder entered. Just as she is about to reveal the woman's identity, Miss Hinchcliffe is interrupted by a phone call. When she returns, she discovers that Miss Murgatroyd has been strangled. Inspector Craddock gathers all the suspects at Little Paddock's. Miss Blacklock's cook, Mitzi, claims to have witnessed her employer shooting shirts. However, Craddock dismisses her statement and instead suspects that Edmund Swetnam is secretly Pip and attempted to murder Miss Blacklock for the inheritance. In a shocking turn of events, Philippa confesses that she is, in fact, Pip. However, before the situation can be fully addressed, screams erupt from the kitchen. Miss Blacklock is found attempting to drown Mitzi in the sink, but ceases when she hears the voice of Dora, except the voice actually belongs to Miss Marple, who has been concealed in the broom closet, planning to startle Miss Blacklock by mimicking Dora's voice. Finally, Miss Marple unveils a stunning revelation. She exposes Miss Blacklock's true identity as Charlotte, not Letitia, and accuses her of committing the crimes. Miss Blacklock is promptly arrested. Miss Marple explains that Charlotte Blacklock suffered from goiter, an abnormal enlargement of the thyroid gland that caused her lower neck to swell. Following their father's passing, Letitia arranged for Charlotte to undergo surgery in Switzerland. Tragically, Letitia succumbed to pneumonia shortly after, leading Charlotte to assume her sister's identity with the intention of inheriting Randall Godler's fortune. To conceal the surgical scar, Charlotte adorned herself with a pearl choker. She carefully avoided individuals who might recognize her, except for her confidant, Dora. However, Schertz, who had worked at the Swiss hospital where Charlotte had been treated, recognized her true identity. Fearing exposure, Charlotte devised a plan to eliminate Schertz. She enlisted him to stage a simulated holdup, and upon his arrival, she manipulated a damaged lamp cord to cause a short circuit by pouring water on it. Charlotte approached Schertz from behind, firing two shots over his shoulder before delivering a fatal shot and inflicting a superficial wound on her ear to simulate a gunshot injury. After the incident, she replaced the defective lamp with a functioning one. Later, Miss Blacklock, who was actually Charlotte, murdered Dora out of fear that her loyal friend might accidentally disclose the truth. Subsequently, she also strangled Miss Murgatroyd upon overhearing her conversation with Miss Hinchcliffe. Miss Marple astutely deduced Charlotte's lamp trick after witnessing a similar malfunction at the vicarage. Reading the correspondence between the Blacklock sisters, Miss Marple noticed discrepancies in spelling that indicated Miss Blacklock was, in fact, Charlotte, not Letitia. In a dramatic turn of events, Miss Marple reveals that she and Inspector Craddock had enlisted the help of Mitzi and Edmund to apprehend Charlotte. As Charlotte attempts to drown Mitzi, Miss Marple ingeniously mimics Dora's voice, prompting Charlotte to release Mitzi and confess her crimes. The novel concludes with Pip and Emma, previously known as Philippa and Julia, rightfully inheriting their fortune. Pip and Edmund eventually marry and settle down in Chipping Cleghorn. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.